So far, so good. Knock on. Is there any wood here for me to knock on? No. Alright. What? Oh. Alright, well, hello, good morning, and welcome. And Victor Oscar Tango is rolling 27. Victor Oscar Tango, roger. Well, you join me taking off a of runway 27 from Kamloops International Airport. Airspeed's alive, TMP's in the green, 55, rotate. Beautiful takeoff, look at that. So, um, today is a very exciting day. Today is my first uh, $100 hamburger. How exciting is that? We're going to be flying down the Chilliwack today, get a burger, get some pie, as you do. Um, but first, I'm going to do a circuit, just to kind of get my eye in, and then we're going to head out. So... The winds are sick. Air is so much nicer today than it was last time I was out. Yike. Beautiful day out today. Might encounter some smoke on the way down. Also, I have to stay well clear of uh, the fire that's south of us, where we're going to be passing by. But, um, but yeah, all in all, hope, hopefully it'll be a decent, uh, it'll be a decent flight. It's kind of exciting. This is, my, like I say, my only, only my second time flying in the lower mainland. Obviously, I'm only going to Chilliwack, so I'm not going super far or anything. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Alright, we're gonna get stable. So what we learned last time is give yourself time to get stable. So, let's throw in 30 flaps. Pick what speed you wanna go. What speed do you wanna go? I wanna go 65. Going a little bit slow, so push the nose down, get the edge forward. Dropping at a decent rate. I feel like we might be dropping a little bit fast, but we might be okay. Aiming for the numbers. Airspeed's good. Decently coordinated, we're over the middle of the runway, generally speaking. Slowing down a little bit, pushing those forward ever so slightly, and a little touch more power. And playing with the power a little bit more here. Airspeed's pretty good, a little bit slow, but it's okay, it's just slightly, like 64 or 65 kind of thing, that's where we want to be. Aiming for the numbers. Nice and stable. Make sure trim a little bit forward. Made the runway, pull the power. And Vampire pull it to cruise. Uh, you have the uh, Cherokee traffic in sight? Uh, Vampire Fire Affirmative, uh, we have it in sight. We're shortly going to take a right turn uh, toward Houston. Oh Vampire my goodness. Vampire 5, roger. And verify your altitude. Uh, Vampire 5, uh, crossing uh, 4,300 feet. Hey, roger, your flight plan's open. We'll talk to you later. Okay, flaps up, car in, that was a terrible landing. What happened there, I just pulled a little bit too aggressively, again, got a little bit too excited. Tried to not pull too aggressively, but I just did. So I must remember, it's just, it's not pull, it's pressure, right? It's like the slightest, just a wafer thin pulls. All right, so I've got my map. Maps, actually, I'm testing a different tablet today as well. Um, trying to get some life out of some old machinery. So I got a couple, a couple of maps and the GPS in the plane. I can get there. Getting to Chilliwack is not going to be the problem. All right, we're going to climb straight out for a little bit, and then once we get high enough in the air, I will make my turn south. I don't want. I just don't want to be too close to the ground over there. That's doing me a concern. Because when you're flying, one thing you definitely want to try to avoid is the ground. Oh wow! I can see the the fires are kicking off again. We'll come around to see those in a second. Unless you can kind of catch them out of the corner of the Thank camera right now. Five, we're, uh, 10 miles in our... I think there's some other ones too. Like I knew that there were fires over there, but those look super, super close. I didn't realize it was that close. I knew there were fires that were like way down to the, to the south of where we were going. But anyways, um, all right. So what is the deal with the hundred dollar hamburger? Well, uh, so the, the deal with the hundred dollar hamburger is that uh, back when flying was cheaper. You know, you could, you could hop in your plane, fly to a place that has an airport restaurant directly on the premises. The idea is that you can basically take your plane, fly to an airport, and without having to walk more than a few minutes, be at a restaurant. And so, you know, you'd go and you'd buy a hamburger, but, you know, it would be the cost of the flight. <laughs> so they effectively call it a $100 hamburger because, you know, you have the cost of the flight and everything. That's kind of what I'm doing today, except it's going to cost me a lot more than $100, because flying is real expensive. Now, it's worth noting that uh, I have been to the Chilliwack Airport before, a couple times. 
I originally heard of it because Riley, who did most of my instruction, if you missed those videos, uh, said, oh, I need to make sure I find a chill rock for Pi. Uh, so we've driven down there a couple times um, and, you know, had burgers and pie and stuff. Uh, but this is my first chance to actually go and fly there, so that's super cool. This is kind of wild seeing this fire here, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is kind of wild. So there's the fire, and Camelot's is right there. So, but the winds are blowing to the south right now, so we don't really see the... We're not seeing the smoke in Camelot's right now. A little bit of haze, but it's not too bad. Alright, so basically the plan is to follow Highway 5 going south, follow the freeway. But I need to make sure I stay west of the freeway because there is some freeway spits that are restricted airspace now. So, since the freeway is out in front of me here, let's turn to the west. And just make sure we stay well clear of the freeway. Lean the mixture a little bit more. We'll do a proper lean once, uh, wow. This is just surreal. I've just never seen a fire from this perspective before. Well, but yeah, this is my perspective, and this is wild. So it turns out that the winds at my altitude are blowing up from north to south, so I'm expecting the smoke to kind of follow me. But when I called up the weather briefing folks for a weather briefing, they told me that once I get south of Merritt, it should be okay. At least until Hope, and then there are fires apparently around Harrison Hot Spring. So we'll see how it goes. Now, one good thing about um, having been to Camus Airport already in a car is that I was able to, there is a flight school there, and I was able to actually ask one of the flight school guys just about some, some tips and tricks about flying in Kamloops, like, hey, where do I do my run-up, and, and where do you park, and everything else. So, um, so yeah, it was actually uh, super helpful. I should probably call maybe halfway between, halfway to, oh, I am halfway to Merit. Okay, where am I right now? I am uh, pretty much straight towards Merit right now, which is good. Actually, is that Merritt right there? Is it? It might be, actually. I think it might be. Okay, let me call. I'm about 10 miles. About 10 miles. 1, 2, 6, 7 traffic in the area of Merritt. Cessna Gulf Victor Oscar Tango, about 10 miles north of Merritt. 8,500 feet southbound toward Merritt and on uh, following the Coca-Cola towards Hope. 1, 2, 6, 7 traffic. It's Gulf Victor Oscar Tango. I think I can actually see the airport down there. Is that the airport there? Must be, that's where that big hill is right next to the airport. That makes it very difficult to do an inspection pass. Or right, I'm going to switch to Canada and Merit traffic. About five miles out. Merit traffic, that's the 172 Golf Victor Oscar Tango, about five miles north of the airport, 8,500 feet, just passing south along Coca-Cola towards Hope. Uh, Merit traffic, that's the Golf Victor Oscar Tango. The funny thing about it is, that there is kind of a hundred dollar hamburger in Merritt. Kind of. It's not really. Um, because right next to the airport, there is like a little strip mall or something, a little shopping area, and there are a couple restaurants there. Unfortunately, if I went to Merritt and landed and parked, I'd have to walk all the way around the airport uh, to get to that shopping area. So, yeah, it's not actually a hundred dollar hamburger. There was actually a big fire in Merritt. Uh, I was driving back up the freeway last weekend, and there was a big fire. I think you can kind of tell. I'm trying to get a picture of it, but like, there was a fire at like a energy plant of some sort down there. All right, so the haze does not appear to be getting worse. It's not great, but it does not appear to be getting worse. So that's good. Anyway, the, so the goal here, my next $100 hamburger, I'm hoping, will be Vernon. Vernon has a little uh, burger shack, like, right on the airport. Vernon was actually my plan B. If I didn't get to go to Chilliwack today, I was going to go to Vernon. But Chilliwack worked out, so here we are. But yeah, that's the, so stay tuned for that. That is, you know, that's a goal. That's a one-day goal. I don't know if I'll do it this year, but one day. All right, so I know I'm now 38.0 nautical miles north of Hope, although 
hope is a bit more that way. So I'm kind of, it's not going to be direct. The thing is, at this altitude, I mean, I should be fine to get over everything that I'm worried about. Uh, as long as I stay over the freeway. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to review this so I have it in my head. Um, we're going to get to Hope. We're going to make a call to Hope Traffic. That's fine. Once we're off of Hope Traffic and back at 1267 Traffic, I'm going to try and pick up Chilliwack's weather. Chilliwack has an automated weather observation system. As soon as that's done, then I'll be at 1267. We're going to queue up Harrison Common Frequency 122.775. That's when things are going to kick off. I have to use my map, make sure I stay clear of any, um, uh, you know, restricted areas, any super busy areas, whatever. And then we'll get into Chilliwack, we'll make a call on Chilliwack traffic. If there's nobody on Chilliwack traffic, or if there's nobody on, if there's nobody flying right now, I will do an inspection pass, just to be safe. Right-hand circuit, runway 07, right-hand circuits, yep. So both circuits are to the south side of the runway. Um, and all we got to do is make sure we stay under Vancouver's airspace. If we bust Vancouver's airspace, I'm going to be in trouble. It is pretty here, though. Nicer if the weather was nice and there wasn't smoke everywhere, but it is pretty out here. Welcome to BC, everybody. If you're not from British Columbia, you should come for a visit. All right, so the next frequency is 123.3. That is Hope. Correct. We are 30 miles north of Hope. Coca-Cola traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango, 8,500 feet between Mount Thin and July Mountain over the Coca-Cola southbound towards Hope. Coca-Cola traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango. I guess it might have been more meaningful. I've lost the highway. Oh, no, that's not it. How do you lose a free... Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it, I see it. How do you lose a freeway? It doesn't even make it. It's literally just right below my plane, so I couldn't see it. So basically, now I don't want to fly directly over the mountain, because if I lose an engine, it's going to be difficult to, you know, to get over that mountain uh, to get to the freeway. So I want to kind of follow the highway pretty closely at this point. But I really do want to cut the corner. So I could go straight and it'll meet up with the highway again. That would be fine. But I guess if something goes wrong, there's a mountain between me and, and even the remote possibility of a safe landing. So, um, so yeah. I'm just going to, oh, I just catch a glimpse of the highway down there, I think, at the freeway. So I'm just going to stick with the plan. And we're just going to sneak around to the right of this hill in front of us. And we should be fine. All right, we're looking good. Look at this view, though. Wow. Look at this view. It'd be, it'd be way more fun if I wasn't, you know, freaking out about this valley right now. It is, it is just, I don't know, it's just beautiful. It's just so lovely. And you know what? Who knows when the last chance, I mean, if this is the last chance I ever get to do this, for, any, for whatever reason, because I can't afford to or whatever, like... I want to make sure I at least enjoy a little bit of it. Yeah, you can really kind of see the smoke kind of settling in the mountains. Not too bad up here, but... And the visibility is still okay. I mean, we're doing okay at the moment. Hope traffic, Cessna 172, Gulf Victor, Oscar Tango is about 9 miles northeast of Hope. Uh, 8,700 feet, just bypassing Hope on my way out to Chilliwack. Hope traffic, Cessna, Gulf Victor, Oscar Tango. Traffic up back, straight go back, 3,000 feet over to the town of Hope, glider release, coming in, member pulls up. Glider release, 2,000. Gotcha, I'm, yeah, I'm 80 something. And hundred. Hope traffic. Whew. Nice. See where the aerodrome is? Yeah, it's right in front of me. Can't quite make it out because I'm short, but uh, it is pretty much right in front of me. All right. Now, I need to start descending because uh, once I hit Hope, I need to really start descending because I need to be under whatever that altitude is, something. Whatever it is, there's a lot of it. All right, and there's Hannah Hope. We're flying right over top of it. Okay, I have to got back. Sure, go back. Crossing my tails from north to south, turning left. I want to see five levels up. All right, so I've passed by Hope. Got 
I get down there. Where I am. If I, I mean, I'll have to just sort. If I don't, if I'm not low, not low enough altitude, I'm gonna have to just circle. Cause I have to get my altitude down. All right. So I need to be under 6,500 feet. Gotta lose another thousand feet here before I get to Harrison Hot Springs. So we're really gonna start descending now. All right, 6,000 feet. So we're good. We are gonna stay legal and keep people from being mad at us. All right, so we're gonna be under six five. We are under six five. Uh, I'm westbound. I'm gonna maybe descend to like four five or even lower. Uh, Chilliwack Airport is over there, right in front of that hill. I might have the aerodrome in sight. Not totally sure if I'm, that's what I'm seeing or not. All right, things are okay. Everything's fine so far. I'm not seeing any traffic. Nothing's jumping out at me. Now the circuits are on the left, so I need to approach from circuits are on the on the south side. I need to approach from the north side. And for the love of God, don't get lost and wander off into the U.S. airspace. Then they'd really get upset at you. All right, I need to switch to Harrison here. Things are quiet. I'm gonna switch to Harrison. From Harrison Common. Next frequency is Chilliwack traffic one two two decimal seven. That is correct. And Harrison traffic says my Golf Victor Oscar Tango is over the town of Agassiz, 4,100 feet, descending uh, southeastbound toward Chilliwack. Harris traffic, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Still can't totally see where the airport is. Oh. Yes, I can. Can I? No, that's the freeway. I really want to switch to Chilliwack, but I really kind of don't right now. But I really probably should. Switch to Chilliwack. Few two four thousand zero hundred temperature two two dew point one six altimeter three zero one five remarks density altitude five seven zero Chilliwack Airport automated weather observation one niner two two Zulu wind two three zero at zero seven visibility one zero Sky condition, few, two, four, thousand, zero, hundred. Temperature, two, two, dew point, one, six. Altimeter, three, zero, one, five. From Mars. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly check so something. They're landing from east to west. All right, I gotta call. Chilliwack traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor Oscar Tango is about four miles northeast of Chilliwack Airport coming in uh, on the north side, across over to the south side, joint downwind 425, full, full stop. Chilliwack traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango. Crossing over, keeping an eye out for traffic. All right, let's begin our descent to our circuit height, 1,000 feet. Chilliwack traffic, Cessna 172 Golf Victor Oscar Tango overhead the aerodrome, 1100 feet, about to join a mid downwind for 25 full stop. Chilliwack traffic. A little bumpy, make sure we get our circuit altitude. All right, level off of attitude. Now let's begin joining the downwind. Chilliwack traffic, Golf Victor Oscar Tango is uh, late downwind for 25 full stop. All right, here we go. Now's where things kick off. I see a plane there, get ready to go around. Final looks clear from what I can tell. And Chilliwack traffic, I'll think to Oscar Tango, uh, turning final for 2-5, full stop. All right, so we're aiming for the numbers. Laps 30. Again, we've got a zillion times, let's get stable here. We're a little high, that's okay. We're also a little far to the right. Let's move left a little bit. There we go, all right, speed is good. A bit more power. We don't drop too quickly. Chilliwack traffic, Fox Charlie Zulu. Taxiing from the uh, fuel pumps by Alfred to the West Hangar. 
and Chilliwack traffic, the cap on Gulf Mike Oscar Hotel, just crossing midfield and will continue on a left to downwind for 2-5. I see that plane, there's a plane in the air, a plane on the ground, it's a little bumpy. We're also way high up in the air right now. I'm going to say we've made the field, pull the power, nobody watched my landing, pull it to cruise, not too aggressively, Paul. Flaps up, carpet in, and brakes. Charlie is closed, so we're going to take Bravo. Oh, it was actually a decent landing. I learned my lessons from my, go from my touch and go earlier. Oh, I made it. I made it. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I am just buzzing right now, so I'm going to take a second. I'm gonna, before I take a second, I'm going to call Pacific Radio and close my flight, close my flight plan. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a second, catch my breath, let myself settle down, and then we're going to grab lunch. Black traffic. When it rains, the fourth, I tell you, there's a whole bunch of planes that are... Things, check traffic. Just take position, runway 27, uh, westbound, uh, south of 206. Yeah, when it rains, the fourth, it was like, it was super quiet on the radio, then as soon as I... Radio, Fox Run Lima, Trailer Tango, leaving the zone to the west at 3,400 feet. Yeah, yeah you can check traffic just off, uh, runway 27, Twin Otter, will be, uh, westbound, and, uh, still on the roll, runway 27, also westbound, south of 206. Yeah, when it rains, of course, I tell you, it's just, uh, the radio was super quiet, and then I called to, to get my first initial information. I should probably pull my power here, get ready to turn base. Um, yeah, everything kicked off. 